Hey football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we have some big news coming out of Newcastle United. The club has just announced a staggering £150 million loss over the last two years. And guess what? They may have to sell some of their star players to raise funds. Now, you might be wondering why a club like Newcastle, backed by Saudi owners, is facing financial difficulties. Well, it turns out that Premier League rules are limiting their ability to challenge the elite. They want to change these rules that currently restrict losses to £105 million over three years. They want to be more like Manchester City and have the freedom to invest heavily in new players. So, who are the players that could be on the chopping block? Well, names like Bruno Guimaraes, with a £99 million release clause, and star defender Sven Botman are at risk. Even homegrown academy talents like Sean Longstaff could be sold. This shock move, dubbed player churn inside the club, would generate funds for new signings and allow for a quicker rebuilding process. But why would Newcastle want to sell their prized assets? It all comes down to accounting rules. By selling a player who cost them nothing, like Longstaff or Lewis Miley, they can make a pure profit of around £50 million. This money can then be reinvested in several new players, with the accounting costs spread over five years. It's a strategic move to create room for other deals. Now, don't worry, Newcastle's revenue has actually been growing. They went from £180 million to £250 million in just one year, thanks to new sponsorship deals and a fourth-place finish in the Premier League. But when you compare that to Manchester City's turnover of over £700 million, you can see the huge gap in financial power. Newcastle's owners, the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, along with the Rubin family and Amanda Staveley, have already injected £127 million in new equity to fund player purchases. But it seems like they're looking for more flexibility to compete with the big spenders. Chief Executive Darren Eels has expressed the club's desire to open a discussion on changing these rules. They want to find a balance between clubs spending within their means and allowing ambitious clubs to be upwardly mobile. It's a tricky situation, but one that needs to be addressed for the future of football. So, what do you think about Newcastle potentially selling their star players? Should Premier League rules be changed to allow clubs like Newcastle to spend more freely? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to join our new WhatsApp community for daily updates on Mirror Football content. We'll also be treating our community members to special offers, promotions, and exclusive content. So, click the link in the description to join now. That's all for today's update. Thanks for watching Football News Center. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting football news. See you next time.